Okay, so this is going to be the second part of our series on data migration. And again, we are going to concentrate on how you can store data into your cloud storage. Now for the first part, you can just click on this link over here and get access to that. In this particular chapter, we'll talk about how you can transfer data between projects and GCP. So, so here in this example, I have two organizations. The first one is called lazycoders.info. The second one is called very lazycoders.in. So my intention is to transfer data from this particular organization's bucket into the bucket in lazycoders.info. So the thing that we require is we need a user and this user should be present in both the organizations. So I have created a user called admin at lazycoders.info, which is basically the admin for this organization. And I've given this user access to the other organization as well. So I've created or I've given access to admin at lazycoders.info for this particular organization as well. So I've, to make it simple, I have given the organization administrator access to both to this particular user in both the organizations. I'll show this to you once I show you the demo. And after that, all that we need to do is just run the data transfer service to transfer data across organizations. So let's see how this is done. Okay, so I'm back in my console. So this is my first organization. And this organization is basically having this user called admin at lazycoders.info. Lazy coders so this guy, I've made the organization administrator for this project. And similarly, I've taken this particular principle and I have made this particular principle the organization administrator for my other organization as well. So let me show you that. So this is the lazycoders.info, that is the first organization. And this is the second organization. And for this organization, I've made this guy, that is the admin at lazycoders.info, the organization administra administrator as well. Now, in ideal production environment, you should just give access to only the services that are required. But just to make this as simple as possible, I've just given him the organization administrator. Now, the only thing remember that we need to do is we need to go to cloud storage. So let's go to cloud storage. So let's create a bucket. So let's click on create bucket and just call this as my source bucket and just randomly suffix it with a few numbers. And let's click on continue. So let's click on region and let's create this particular bucket. And within this particular bucket, let's store some data. So let's click on upload files and let's just randomly upload a PNG file. So this is our source. Now this particular file, I want to get into my other project that is my lazycoders.info. So what so what I need to do is I need to go to my data transfer, click on that, and choose the project. And here, let's click on create a transfer job. OK, so now I'm in my data transfer. Let's click on select, choose a source. So let's click on, of course, no. Now let's click on choose a source. Now the source here is also a Google Cloud Storage. Now let's click on a bucket that we need to choose a source. So let's click on browse. And let's click on this project ID. So here, the source is again the other organization in which we've created the bucket. So let's click on that very, and let's choose the project. So this is the project, and this is the bucket that we've just recently created. Let's click on this and click on select. So this is the source, and now let's click on next. And now the destination is basically within our same project that is the lazycoders.info. So again, we'll just choose a bucket. And the bucket that we'll choose would be my destination bucket. So this is a bucket that I had created in my previous chapter. So I'd be using the same bucket. Click on select. And let's click on next. So we don't need to change anything over here. And all that we need to do is just go and click on next. So we want to run it once and we want to run it starting now. And let's click on create and let's do the data transfer. Okay, our job is run successfully and you can see that one file was transferred. So let's go to the cloud storage now. Let's go to cloud storage. And this is my destination. So this destination bucket should contain that PNG. So you can see that it contains the AWS.png that we had in our source. And if you go and if you click on this authenticated URL, you can see that particular PNG as well. So this is how you can transfer data across cloud storage buckets in GCP. Now this can be again within your organization or like I showed you here, it can be across organizations as well. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next.